Hello my loves, thank you so much for tuning in. I hope you all are having a very good day or night wherever you are. I hope you're staying indoors and staying safe. In today's video, I'm going to be doing a detailed review on all the skincare products from Mystique Earth. If you're new here, hi, my name is Preeti. I'm India's first cruelty-free beauty blogger. I talk about all things cruelty-free, which means products that are not tested on animals. And I also talk about vegan beauty and lifestyle tips. Now, if this is the kind of content that you might enjoy, then please consider subscribing to my YouTube channel and continue watching today's video. Now, honestly, you guys, I've been trying out Mystique Earth products for quite some time now, since 2020, but it feels like I've been using their products forever because I talk so much about this brand on my Instagram, on my YouTube. A lot of their products have worked really well for me, you guys. And in today's video, I'm gonna do a detailed review of all the skincare products that I've tried out from the brand. Now, since this video is a skincare review, I need to put up a disclaimer, as always, that skincare, beauty, hair care is very, very subjective, you guys. What might work for you might not work for me and vice versa. It's really important to keep an open mind whenever you consume any such content online. Now that we have the disclaimer out of the way, let's jump into this video, you guys. Now, let's start with the first product, the Bubble Facial Cleanser. This is a face wash, and honestly, you guys, it is so, so good. It lathers beautifully, and you do not need a lot of amount. It's very lightweight on the skin, does not over dry the skin, and this will work honestly for all skin types. Now, you all know that I like using lightweight face washes or face wash powders in my AM skincare routine. So this one fits really well in my AM skincare routine as well because it's not very strong, yet very, very effective. Now, this works really well if you want to remove any leftover makeup after double cleansing this does the job you guys now this will also work really well if you have very very dry skin mainly because this does not over dry the skin it's very fuss free actually you can easily use this even if you have acne prone skin if you just want a very lightweight face wash if you're tired of your hardcore glycolic acid or your salicylic acid face washes this will work really well now, even if you have a damaged skin barrier, this will work really well because it's so lightweight, yet very, very effective. Now, what I like about this is that you get a huge quantity, okay? You don't need a lot of product. Little goes a long way. It lathers up beautifully and you can easily use this on your face, on your neck, on your chest. I really like it, you guys. It's not vegan. I really wish it was, but either way, it works really well and I highly recommend it. Now, this next product is something that I've mentioned in my Best of Skincare 2020 YouTube video. I have also spoken about this excessively on my Instagram. I have mentioned this time and again in all of my reels. This is the Youth Concentrate Serum. You guys already know how much I love this. I'm almost honestly done with this. The formula is so, so good. It is very, very lightweight. Let me try pumping some out. Hold up. Okay, you see this, it's very watery consistency and it blends into the skin so beautifully, you guys. You can easily layer another moisturizer on top of this if need be. In the daytime, you can use it by itself, you guys. See how it just gives you a dewy finish? It's of course gonna take some more time to sink in properly, but it is very lightweight and very, very non-sticky. So this is gonna be perfect for anybody who's got combination acne prone skin like mine. Even if you have normal skin, even if you have dry skin, on dry skin, you can layer this with another face cream if need be on combination skin actually this works really good just by itself you don't need anything over it um, on oily skin again this will work really well you don't have to layer any other cream on top of this now this does have sodium ascorbyl phosphate which is a stable form of vitamin c really good for brightening your skin tone not for lightening very different terms i don't promote lightening brightening is when you want to brighten those dark marks on your face because of hyperpigmentation post acne pigmentation and whatnot now you don't need to layer hyaluronic acid with this mainly because it already has sodium hyaluronate which is basically salts of hyaluronic acid works really well on moisture retention it also has sodium ascorbyl phosphate which is a stable form of vitamin c so you don't really need to layer vitamin c with it if you're a beginner especially but i like to layer vitamin c underneath it mainly because i like a good 20 percent of vitamin c on my skin the micro copper peptides in this formulation are really good for reducing the first signs of aging okay you can't really fight aging you're just human but you can delay the first signs of aging especially when you're younger like in your 20s 30s and late 30s what this does is that it improves the elasticity of your skin improves the texture of your skin all right so this is a very very good ingredient however this is placed literally in the last bit i would have liked it for this to be somewhere in the center of the ingredient list so that you know my skin would get a better benefit of this now it does have added fragrance somewhere literally in the last five ingredients so it's not too strong 
not very overpowering you don't even feel it much on your skin to be very honest and it doesn't trouble my skin so i'm very happy about that now, honestly i don't have a huge problem with fragrances so hear me out if it's somewhere in the last few ingredient list especially if you have a lot of ingredients the concentration is fairly small it doesn't trouble your skin it hasn't troubled my skin okay now fragrance in certain products are very very important mainly because they need to cancel out the really weird fragrance or weird sense of raw ingredients you need to have a pleasant experience of putting the product on your face if it doesn't smell good and it makes you feel weird why would you put it on your face right so that is honestly one of the reasons why people use fragrance in their skincare again this is open for debate every skin reacts differently to the same ingredients that being said i really like this product you guys it's one of the best serums that i have tried out there in the indian market a lot of you have already purchased this as well and sent me photos on dms throughout the last few months i appreciate it thank you so much for trusting my recommendations overall superb serum i went on there that's only because i love it so much <laughs> now you all know that i take my face masking very very seriously this next product is a mineral mask it is a clay based mask it works really well on my combination skin does not over dry my skin at all Look at the packaging, you guys. It is so, so beautiful. I absolutely love the packaging. So this is how you got to open it and you take the flap off and this is the product. If you notice, it's dried down a bit. This is very common with any clay-based mask from any brand. It dries down a bit, but you don't have to worry about a thing. Just scoop out a bit. Use a little bit of water to activate the mask and then you can apply it again. I love how finely milled this is, you guys. It doesn't have any rough, grainy texture. You don't have to worry about exfoliation on your face or micro tears or any of that. It's a very, very finely milled face mask. Very easy to apply, very easy to wash off. Now, as a general rule of thumb, you guys, if you have dry skin, very, very dry skin, do not use clay-based mask from this brand or from any other brand because clay is usually something that is used for absorption of excess sebum on your skin. So if you have oily, normal, combination, acne-prone skin, clay-based mask will work really well for you. Otherwise, you really don't need to use them. Now, I have tried out a lot of different clay-based masks, okay? And this one is honestly one of my favorites in India, mainly because it doesn't have any strong fragrances. It is very finely milled, does not trouble my skin, does not over-dry my skin. I like to use this on my T-zone as well if I don't want to do a full face face mask because this works really well in sucking out that excess sebum. Now, this next product is yet another product that made its way to my Best of Skincare 2020 YouTube video this is the night revival cream it's a night cream that i absolutely love this is one of the best night creams that i have tried out from the indian market you guys it's one of the most fast absorbing lightweight non-greasy night creams that did not break out my skin it didn't give me new acne when i woke up in the morning it's honestly so so good i was very skeptical of trying this out when i got it from the brand the brand sent this over for me to try and test out but oh my goodness you guys this is honestly so good and a little goes a long way you don't need a lot of this product so this is what the cream looks like you guys it's got a very thick texture but it absorbs beautifully into the skin absolutely love this you guys it is so fast absorbing i've literally used it as a hand cream now but it's so lightweight you guys it is non-sticky it just works beautifully on the skin what i like about this is that the formulation will work for all skin types it doesn't irritate the skin at least it didn't irritate my combination skin with sensitized areas it works really well on improving the texture of my skin and i wake up with a very very plump skin in the morning so when I use this night cream, I do a vitamin C routine or an extremely moisturizing routine or just combine the two vitamin C and hyaluronic acid. I don't use retinols. I don't use any AHAs with this. Now, this does have a good amount of vitamin C rich extracts. It also has sodium ascorbyl phosphate, which is a stable form of vitamin C. Very good for improving the collagen production of your skin because that's what vitamin C does. It's also got Indian blackberry extract, go-to cola, forest persimmon, all of these together not only are very good for boosting collagen production, but Indian blackberry is very rich in vitamin C. This is really cool if you wanna boost collagen production on your skin, even out any uneven skin tone, if you have hyperpigmentation, post acne pigmentation, this is a very, very good cream to include in your night skincare routine. I don't need a lot of amount with this, like literally one or two dots on the face, and that's more than enough because it is a very thick and creamy texture. It's got mahua butter, I hope I'm saying it right very very rich but does not break out the skin 
I got so carried away with like reviewing all of these products. I forgot to mention the discount code. I have a discount code with the brand, you guys. You can use my code PT20 for 20% off. As always, these are all affiliate codes. All the codes in the description of this video and every other video on YouTube are affiliate codes, which means every time you use the code, I get a tiny kickback from it, which helps support my blogging journey. I think I've completed the entire skincare range of Mystique Earth, the current entire skincare range of Mystique Earth. We have one final product. This is from the body care range, and this is the Silk Serum Lotion, you guys. I have finished this much already because I use it literally every single day. This is such a good formulation, you guys. It is so lightweight, so fast absorbing. I absolutely love it. And the fragrance is so, so beautiful. If you live in a humid city where it's very, very sticky and humid, this is a very nice lightweight moisturizer to use. I've also mentioned this in my best of body care 2020 video because this honestly is such a good product. I've already layered a lot of products on this hand, so we're gonna swatch on this hand right here. This is what the texture looks like, you guys. Oh my goodness. Okay, it's just very, it's very liquidy, so you have to be a little careful. But the texture, you guys, oh my god, it is so, so good. I absolutely love it. It smells amazing. It's one of the most freshest fragrances that I have ever um, had the chance of experiencing in a body lotion. And it's not overpowering, you guys. It's actually very gentle, um, yet very fresh. So it's a perfect fragrance for summers and spring. Now, when this dries down, it just absorbs in so beautifully, you guys. It is so lightweight. It gives you a nice um, silky feel on the skin, yet not greasy. Now, I live in Bombay City where it's impossible to use thick body lotions in the mornings. I do use body butters at night, but in the morning, there's no way that I can use a thick lotion. So this is my go-to lotion, mainly because it is honestly so lightweight, smells fresh, the fragrance stays on the skin for quite some time, but it's not overpowering. It hasn't troubled my skin or triggered my sinusitis. It does have vitamin E, it's also got vitamin C, and one of the key ingredients is mahua butter, along with white lilies, which are very good for hydrating the skin and improving skin tone texture. Um, really, really good, you guys. It's honestly one of my favorite body lotions in the Indian market, and I have tried quite a lot, okay? So this is really cool for anybody who's got normal skin type excessively dry or dry skin you might want to skip this because this is not the most moisturizing lotion out there you might need something thicker like a body butter and that's it you guys those are all the products and my honest reviews as always i absolutely love these products i really hope this video helps you understand which product to pick which not to pick and on what skin types these will work i hope you enjoyed watching this if you did please hit that like button so that i know you enjoyed watching this video and let me know if you've tried out any of these products in the comments below i would love to know what your experience is was it good was it bad was it neutral let me know so that i can understand if the recommendations i'm giving work for you or not I'm also working on a bunch of single brand reviews that I'll be posting here as well as on Instagram. So follow me there on Instagram if you aren't already. I promise I'm really fun. Follow me and join my Instagram family. I'm going to take your leave now, you guys. But before I go, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Check out my previous videos right here. I will catch you all in the next video. Till then, take care of yourselves and your mental health. Bye.